The bladder is a balloon-like organ with a muscular wall in the lower part of the abdomen. It holds the urine made by the kidneys until it passes through the urethra and leaves the body. Bladder cancer is a disease in which cancerous cells form in the tissues of the bladder. The average age at the time of bladder cancer diagnosis is 73. Overall, the chance men will develop this cancer in their life is about 1 in 27. For women, this possibility is about 1 in 89. There are three types of bladder cancer that begin in different types of cells in the lining of the bladder. Transitional cell carcinoma, squamous cell carcinoma, and adenocarcinoma. Transitional cell carcinoma begins in cells in the innermost tissue layer of the bladder. Squamous cell carcinoma begins in the thin, flat cells and may form after long-term infection or irritation. Adenocarcinoma begins in glandular cells that form mucus-like substance and is the rarest type of bladder cancer. It is still not known exactly what causes most bladder cancers. As per the estimates, more than a third of all cases of bladder cancer are caused by smoking. Other risk factors include having a family history of bladder cancer, being exposed to paints, dyes, metals, or petroleum products, having a history of repeated bladder infections, and using urinary catheters for a long time. Signs and symptoms of bladder cancer include blood in the urine, pain during urination, frequent urination, and lower back pain. Tests that examine the urine and bladder are used to diagnose bladder cancer. Physical exam and history makes a necessary part of the workup. Sample of urine is checked for abnormal cells and its content. Medical imaging of the kidneys, ureters, and bladder helps find out the abnormal areas. Cystoscopy has invaluable role in establishing the diagnosis as it facilitates looking inside the bladder and urethra to check for cancerous areas. It also helps in removing tissue samples, which are microscopically studied to confirm or rule out the presence of cancer. Imaging tests, such as CT scan, MRI, and PET scan, may be used to find out if the bladder cancer has spread and to help with staging. The chance of recovery depends on the stage of the cancer, the type of bladder cancer cells, and the patient's age and general health. If the bladder cancer is superficial, prognosis also depends on the number of tumors, the size of tumors, and whether the cancer has recurred after treatment. Surgical treatment options include transurethral resection with fulguration, radical cystectomy, partial cystectomy, and urinary diversion. Radiation therapy uses high-energy x-rays or other types of radiation to kill cancer cells or keep them from growing. In intravesical chemotherapy, the chemo drug is put directly into the bladder. This type of chemo is used for very early-stage bladder cancers. Systemic chemo can be used before surgery to try to shrink a large tumor or as the main treatment for advanced bladder cancers. As a part of adjuvant therapy, it is used to kill any cancer cells that remain after other treatments. PD-1 inhibitors are a type of immunotherapy used in the treatment of bladder cancer. Early stage bladder cancer may also be treated with an intravesical immunotherapy called BCG. Regular surveillance of the urinary tract must be done by certain clinical exams and lab tests after a diagnosis of bladder cancer. For more information about bladder cancer, list of expert doctors, hospitals, and ongoing clinical trials, please visit www.expertdocs.com